Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming and to join our protest, peaceful protest, for express over sadness and express our anger toward fascist, dictator, shameless Chinese government. Today we are here protesting. We are protect, protesting here first because we want to show our strong concern and solidarity with our Uyghur people who were burned alive in their home by the Chinese authority. Second, we are protesting here to express our anger and outrage. And we want to warn China that your way of killing Uyghurs are getting too extreme. And China, you must stop killing our Uyghur people. And sooner or later, you will be accountable for whatever you have done to our people. Yesterday, the Uyghur residential high-rise building in Urumqi was on fire and around 48 Uyghur people died in this fire. The leaked video footage is shocking. We saw the fire in the building and heard the voices of Uyghur women crying, screaming and asking for authority to open the door. The helpless mothers do not go out because their home were locked from outside by the Chinese authority. There was no way to go out and no way to jump out. Two, as the building was very tall, we also heard a small child screaming from the window and asking, what can I do? What can I do? Doors are locked outside of each unit. So the people were unable to escape from the fire. Children also died as their parents locked down to other places. Chinese authority refused to open the door and asked them to stay inside. Despite the fire is already expanded to another three stories. Thus, those 48 Uyghurs died and many others were injured due to the government's inaction. The Uyghurs in other buildings have to just watch in tears from their windows and witness their neighbors burning alive in the fire without being able to help as they cannot go out from their home as well. China has been using of zero COVID policy as an excuse. Looking down Uyghurs in their home and some other facilities for more than 100 days, preventing people from going out or having access to the food or medical supplies. Many Uyghur people starved to death. The Chinese government simply took away the dead bodies from their home and burned without allowing family members to do their funerals. From this reality, we can see this fire in Urumqi is not an accident. This is just the most speeded way of Uyghur genocide. China has been using many means of ruthless crackdown on Uyghurs in order to control people 100% by terrifying them.
China did not show mercy to Uyghurs who have been obeying their law, even unreasonably banned and orders and stayed at their home without going out from their doors for more than 100 days. From the reality of Uyghur current situation, it's, it's crystal clear that Uyghurs will not be able to survive under the rules of China and the independence of our land. East Turkestan is the only choice for survival. China never think 